what do you think, if I may ask, uh, of somebody like Ayn Rand and her philosophy of objectivism? So where the core principle is that reality exists independently of consciousness and that human beings have direct contact with reality through sense perception. So they have that, you do have that ability to know reality. There's two things. Knowing that there's an independent reality is not knowing in that independent reality. Those are not the same thing. Yeah, but I, I think objectivism would probably say that our human reason is able to have contact with that. Then I would respond and say, you have to, I believe, in fact, ultimately, in, in a conformity theory of knowing that what that the deepest kind of knowing is when there's a, a, a contact, a conformity between the mind, with the embodied mind, and reality. But, and here's where I guess I'd push back on, on Rand. I would say, you have to acknowledge parcel knowledge as real knowledge. Because if you don't, you're going to fall prey to Mino's paradox. Mino's paradox is, you know, this is in Plato, right? To know P. Well, if I don't know P, I'm going to go looking for it. But if I don't know P, how could I possibly recognize it when I found it? I have no way of recognizing it. I know I have no way of knowing that I've found it. So I, I must know P. But if I know P, then I don't need to learn about it. I don't need to go searching. So learning doesn't exist. Knowledge is impossible. The way you break out of that paradox is saying, no, no, no. It is partial. It is possible to partially know something. I can know it enough that it will guide me to recognizing it, but that's not the same as having a complete grasp of it because I still have to search and find what I don't yet possess in my knowledge. If we So yeah. partial knowledge has to be real knowledge. Right. Partial knowledge is still knowledge. Yes. 